Alright, let's start off with a topic that I have written down here with some many other scribblings. Alright, the mouth to card theory that does not actually have a name and I just completely made that up. Well, I mean, that's what I wrote down on the paper, but I mean, I made that up. But, what I mean by mouth to card theory- hold on, there's an echo coming from this door being open. Mouth to card theory is something that I've always thought of that happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! quite often um, by top players, not purposely and not because they're saying they're doing it to try to make it so this card's not playable or something for them to play it. So, mouth to card is somebody says something's bad and everybody thinks it's bad. Mouth to card. They think it sucks, and then since they're more of a popular player, everybody else starts to keep playing. So, example, someone's doing a deck profile, they're showing their cards, showing their cards, and some YouTuber, doesn't matter who, uh, just asks, oh, why don't you play this in the deck? Because maybe it's like some common call, something common that people play. The pro player says, oh, the dot out of this, I don't play it because so-and-so, it's bad, blah, blah, blah. YouTubers watch it, word spreads. Oh, you can't play that card in that deck. Okay, well, so-and-so might have not got first place with it, but he got in the top 32 and he played that card. Uh, it doesn't matter, but he got to first. Uh, no, see, that's that's where it's wrong. <laughs> Just because a good player says a card is bad does not necessarily mean it's bad. And now I know there's going to be people that are hardcore into the game and be like, no, that means you suck if you think that card's good or whatever. And this isn't a specific card. This has happened with tons of cards. I'm not going to go over which one it has. But the point I'm trying to say is, because top players say a card is bad, does not mean it's bad, because a player just a little bit below that, still probably top, is probably playing with that card. Yu-Gi-Oh! is still chance-based. I know there's people that top consistently, and people are going to argue what. Re regardless, the game is still up to chance. It's a gamble. What you draw first, when you draw it, you might draw all ten spell cards in a row. If It doesn't matter how good you shuffled it. it might have, so sometimes it just fucking happens. So maybe that player didn't draw that well. That's an excuse, but it's true. Maybe he didn't get the hand that other people got. It's all up to the deck consistency and how good you are. Luck, chance, whatever. Now, when people start hearing this, they'll tell everybody, even if they're like a player like me, player's not that good, and goes to other people and be like, no, you can't play that card in that deck. Haven't you heard so and so? They don't play that card. But I, I've won some games because of this card. Doesn't matter. Cards aren't good. It just thickens out your deck. Don't play. It's bullshit. Now, granted, there are cards that are bad and should not be played, and if he says it, it, it could be true. But you see, it's what I like to do is go in variables. Now, this, like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. Or, or it does happen. It happens all the time, but it doesn't happen as frequently all the time. That doesn't make sense. But, <laughs> so, I can't think of an example because there hasn't been anything that really happened so far where it's game-breaking. But, say if somebody's playing... Uh, Fire Fist. They play all the cards, whatever. And they're like, I don't play, is it Tenku? Tensu? The one that stops your, uh, that freezes a spell or chalk card on the field. A Fire Force in Tensu. I don't play three of those. I don't even play one. I think it's terrible. It's not a card you should play. Somebody else wins, but not in the, like as far as he did, top 32. And he ha plays two of them in his deck. Does that mean the card's bad? Doesn't mean it's good. Not necessarily. But it doesn't mean it's terrible. I've played Tensu and Fire Fist, so make me a bad player? No. I'm not even saying this happened. It's, it's like an example. Um, just because a top player says something good does not mean it's bad. Doesn't mean it's great. Doesn't mean it could be bad. It, it goes either way. But don't take it for face value. I usually look at top decks that are winning. Top 16, top 32, first place, whatever. And if they're all similar decks, or even if they're a little lower, and somebody still was getting pretty high, and they play that card in the deck, I try to notice that maybe the card's not bad, maybe he didn't prefer it. Now, a lot more top players usually say that. They don't usually just call out a bad and just keep calling it scum, it's bullshit, unless they sound kind of full of themselves. Usually, they just say, I don't really prefer it, it doesn't really vibe with me, or something like that. That's actually what most players say when they, if they're asked why they didn't play a specific card. Sometimes they explain their reasoning, and that's a good reason. I'm not saying it's a bad reason all the time, but... When the players are like, oh, that card's trash, that's shit, and then nobody starts playing it, it, it starts getting the vibe that the card's bad, and this is what it gets to. As then a few months later or whatever, and another deck comes out, because if it's not an archetype-specific card, 
Um, or maybe the deck gets support later, and they're like, oh no, this card is really good, and they start playing it, and then everybody starts picking up that card, and then card price, the card prices go, oh, that card used to be only $5, now it's 20 bucks. we've seen it all the time. Cards get told they're bad, people forget about them, and then, once in a, and then you'll see p people start to put them in their deck again slowly, and try testing them, and then they start talking, and everybody's like, holy shit, that card is good, alright, I'm going back, and I'll, sp I'll buy three of them for $20 a piece. Just don't believe every time somebody says a card's bad, it's bad. Play it out, you feel it out, you determine yourself, don't always listen to the top players. And that is mouth to card theory, and a very badly explained bubble. I am so sorry. <laughs> Alright, let me know what you think about that. Do you think that is something that actually happens or not? Let me know down below. Um, I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm curious to what people would say about this. I don't know, I feel like there's some people that would be like, Yeah, I understand what you're saying, and other people are like, I don't even know what the fuck you just said right now, David. Like, what did you just talk about? <laughs> Peace out! Damn! Uh. Yeah. Uh.